Numbers can tell a powerful story. Like 1946, the year Alpha Insurance was founded, or the more than one million policies currently in force. Backed up by superior service from a local agent right in your community. For 65 years, we've been right there with you. We're looking forward to the next 65. For a plan built just for you, contact Talisa Scheichel in Holly Pond. Hi, I'm Leah Patterson Lust. I'm Coleman County's probate judge. It has been an honor to serve the people of Coleman County through the probate judge's office over the last six years. November 6, 2012, voters will go to the polls and will make a decision about who they want to serve as Coleman County's probate judge over the next six years. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go. Nationwide is on your side.
Funeral services for Waveline Mobley Haynes, age 83, of Cullman, will be at 3 p.m. tomorrow at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverend Jim Abbott officiating interment in Cullman City Cemetery. Moss Service Funeral Home is directing. Ms. Haynes passed away on Sunday at her residence. Visitation will be from 1 to 3 p.m. Wednesday at the funeral home. Funeral services for Benjamin Joseph McDaniel, age 26, of Cullman, will be at 10 a.m. tomorrow at Sacred Heart Church. The Reverends Patrick Egan, OSB, Bede Marcy, OSB, and Joel Martin, OSB, officiating burial in Cullman Memory Garden Cemetery. Moss Service is directing. Mr. McDaniel passed away on Sunday. Visitation will be 5.30 to 9 p.m. tonight with a rosary at 7.30 p.m. Funeral services for Stephen Lee Kilgore Sr., age 48, of Cullman are incomplete and will be announced at a later time by Moss Service Funeral Home. Mr. Kilgore died Thursday at Huntsville Hospital. Memorial services for Roseanne Magdalene Castile, age 76, of Cullman, will be held by the family at a later date. Moss Service directing Ms. Castile passed away on Saturday. Funeral services for Jerry Wayne Hogan, age 55, of Cullman, will be at 2 p.m. today at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverend Jimmy Baker will officiate interment in Antioch Baptist Cemetery in the Fairview community. Moss Service is directing Mr. Hogan passed away Sunday. Funeral services for Leo Emberling, age 65, of Cullman, formerly of Kenton, Ohio, passed away on Wednesday at Noland Hospital and Rehab in Birmingham. Arrangements for memorial services will be made at a later time. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Welcome to Today on 2. It is Tuesday, the 25th day of September, and it's almost dark. It's almost dark. <laughs> <laughs> I usually look out the window to see what the weather's like, and I look out the window and I couldn't tell. Yeah, and it's going to get darker as the days go yes, by, it is. isn't it? You yes, really it won't is. be able to tell, and we're glad to have you back. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Doing two trips to Iowa in the same month is cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, yes, I, I, it's like going to Louisiana. Should, yeah, <laughs> should not have to do it, but no. we did. We had a good time. And uh, good to be home again. Yeah. Matter of fact, we got up there and it was uh, 35 degrees in the morning and wind is blowing sideways. Yes. And, and uh, we called back here and they says, oh, it's about 80 here. Yeah, it was fabulous. <laughs> One morning it was like 44. Yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. other than that, really, and it warms up. I got hot yesterday, mm -hmm. so, yeah. But it's good to have you back. Let's check the weather and see what's going on for today. Our weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Make the switch to Mitch. Here's the weather almanac for the 25th of September. The average high temperature in Coleman, Alabama is 83. The average low is 54. The record high, 98 in 1931. And the record low, 39 in 1983. 
sunset this evening, 639 sunrise. We should start talking about sunrise today. Yeah. <laughs> right? Sunrise today will be in about five minutes. Here's the satellite picture that we have is what's going on around the country. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Our part of the country, fair sky. It should be a sunny day today. Here's our forecast, mostly sunny, high around 80. Clear tonight, low near 60. Sunny tomorrow, high near 83. That's pretty normal, isn't it, for this yeah. time of year? Yeah. 85 on Thursday, 84 on uh, Friday with a slight chance of rain, 80 on Saturday, back into the upper 70s on Sunday and Monday. So good weather continues around right. Kalman. It's been real nice the last several days. Low humidity and breezy, and it has felt mm -hmm. really nice, except for when you're sitting in the sun in a hot car. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels like summer again. <laughs> While in Iowa, I looked at the local newspaper, mm -hmm. and if you never get out of the South, you don't know what goes on in the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. And this, there's two stories in the newspaper. First of all, I was watching a little bit of football on Saturday afternoon. A little between, bit? Yeah, between <laughs> doing other things, I okay. watched a little bit of football, and it seemed like every commercial break had a commercial for President Obama oh. over and over and over again throughout okay. this football game, just constant commercials. Well, then the Sunday newspaper, the headline story is about political ads oh. filling the airwaves in Iowa. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't see a lot of them here. No, no. I guess he figures, why bother? Yeah. Why well, spend his mm -hmm. money here? So Iowa's a toss-up state. They're right. really fighting over it. Mm -hmm. Over $30 million has been wow. spent on just TV commercials in the state of Iowa. Wow. Obama for America spent early and often. They started in January. <gasps> Can you imagine? Oh, a bunch of those people are sick of it. Yes. I mean, really, mm -hmm. it, you know... I would yeah. be sick if it was Romney ads. Mm -hmm. I really would. I just, ugh. yeah. In this particular market, Waterloo Cedar Rapids market, there are four television stations and then, of course, the cable company. Since the end of March through August, so you're talking April, May, June, July, August, mm -hmm. August five months, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And these four TV stations and the cable company, they have run 17,000 commercials wow. in just one market. Wow. They That's a, just Iowa. They average four an hour. Now, this is the two candidates put together, but still. Okay, okay. But still. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'd be sick of it. Yeah. I would absolutely just Because be... you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again. Right, yeah. right. Now, they do change it from but, time yeah, to time, yeah. but still, they're averaging four an hour. That would be a turn-off to me, uh -huh. a major turn-off to me. Uh -huh. But yeah. what do I know? And one other story I found interesting. This is a little sketch about a county seat in Iowa, Storm Lake, Iowa, which would be similar to Coleman County. It's a rural county, mm -hmm. not a lot of industry in that area. Population of the city, the county seat is 10,000, which is, well, probably about half what Coleman is. Mm -hmm. Aren't we clo getting close to 20, mm -hmm. something like that? Mm -hmm. Anyway, small town, mill of Iowa, farming community. It has a breakdown of the race the races, the people that live there. Mm -hmm. The percentage of white people who live in this small town, county seat town, mm -hmm. northwest Iowa, 48%. Mm -hmm. Wow. Less than 50% wow. are white people. Okay. Hispanics, 36%. Wow. Is it we think we have a lot of Hispanics uh -huh. here. Is it because of the farming community? Uh -huh. You think it's drawn them yeah. there? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And... The next ethnic group is Asians, 10% wow. Asians. Wow. You would think in Iowa. I mean, you know you, you know they are on the outlying areas, New York and big cities and uh -huh. stuff like that, yeah. but in just the middle of uh -huh. America. Wow. So when you wonder why voting is the way it is, that explains a lot. Oh, it does. It explains a lot. Yeah, that a lot of people from other countries have moved into mm -hmm. rural parts of the Midwest. Wow. Interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. We, we think that America is like we are. Yeah. And you, and you, you got to get out of the South and find out why 
people are the way they are in other parts of the country. Right. Yeah. We're totally different. Quite a diverse nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And I think in the South we're a little bit protected, or uh, what's the right word? We're not shielded, but we're. Um, well, yeah. we just aren't exposed to, yeah. like you said, uh -huh. the things that they are from up mm -hmm. north and Midwest yeah. and things like that. Yeah, the, the values of people in the South, whether they're Republican or Democrat, are pretty much the same. I think so, pretty too. Pretty much the same, I but think, you get yeah. really a lot of diversity up north. Mm -hmm. But yeah. anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting yeah, it really information. Was. Uh, how about our Facebook friend of the day? Let's, Who's our friend for today? Let's check that out. If there are another Alabama fan, fan I'm going to scream. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Karen Jones, and she likes Wicked, the musical, which I like that too, and American Idol. So thank you, Karen, for not mentioning whether you were an Alabama or an Auburn fan. I appreciate that. <laughs> see, tomorrow... Tomorrow, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Tomorrow's <laughs> Facebook friend is an Alabama fan. I mean, come on, Auburn. Come on. Get on the page. All those Auburn. I know there's some Auburn people out there. Y'all could be our friend, too, you know. <laughs> Maybe they, they just don't want to mention it publicly. <laughs> I know. Are we going to start wearing the brown paper bags like the Saints so. used to do? <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah. Oh, anyway, we're glad but to they have they played a good game Saturday. They gave LSU all they wanted. Yeah, well, <laughs> they did. But they really did play a pretty good day. Yes, game. they did. I did get to watch uh -huh. that. And LSU really was sloppy. They were sloppy Saturday night. They, they could have done better. I mean, they eat in, in <laughs> out of there, and they got that win. But really, yeah. they just didn't, they didn't play yeah. as good as they should have. And if that's <clears> the number two team in the nation, of course, already I was told yesterday Alabama is number one and number two. Oh, yeah. I heard that. <laughs> really? <laughs> Alabama does have a good team this year, and they've had a good team for a couple of years now. Yeah, and doing, doing, doing well. Doing well, so. Well, let's you know. talk about our guest for today. All right, let's move on so I don't have to get off my soapbox here. <laughs> Brian Pearson is here from Steel Orchard, and they've got something called the Boogeyman's Barn. It's the return of the Boogeyman's Barn. It's a haunted trails. So all in time for Oktoberfest and October and uh, Halloween and all this other good kind of stuff. So we're, I'm excited to talk to him and find out more information. And then Mr. Ron Stone hopefully will be here. Not here yet. We don't see the whites of his eyes, but he's going to be talking about 50 years of Holly Pond football. Talk about a guy who is into his local football, and that's Ron Stone. We should he find out if Holly he knows as much about Holly Pond football as Johnny Thornton does. That would be a good question. <laughs> we'll, we'll test him out. That on would there. be a very we'll good test question. Ron out on <laughs> yeah. That's what we have lined up for today. George Spear is here with news and commentary right after this. Cheyenne, Cheyenne, where will you be camping tonight? Lonely man, Cheyenne, will your heart stay free and light? Dream, Cheyenne, of a girl you may never love. Move along, Cheyenne, like the restless cloud up above. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens, dual fuel double ovens, and they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room, the best room, your kitchen. We're devoted to it, and you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Newton. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. 
Time for news and comment. If you'd like to share your thoughts on things we're talking about, or maybe not even talking about, for that matter, you can, you're welcome to give us a call at that number right there. Friend us on Facebook, and don't forget, we're streaming live at channel2coleman.com. Coleman County Coroner Steve Rogers making the news again. Not necessarily good news. It seems as though that the Alabama Board of Funeral Service, that board is looking at his performance and complaints that uh, he had to answer with the Alabama Ethics Commission, I guess it was last year. Apparently during uh, a death out somewhere in the county, uh, Rogers was reportedly uh, giving his funeral homes information to the people who had lost a loved one. And there are people complaining that he's trying to push his own funeral home his attorney, Zeb Little, is saying that all these complaints are coming from his competition, that they're sort of overblowing this thing, that the complaints, there were three of them, and he, Rogers had to pay, I think it was about $3,000, 1000 for each complaint, that these things have already been addressed, but, and the beat goes on. Hey, Logan's Roadhouse, a new restaurant out on 157 and, and uh, Interstate 65, will be opening about see, a week from Monday, I guess it is, Monday, October the 8th. They're going to open their doors ahead of schedule, according to what they're telling us. The police department called me reporting an elderly scam, a grandparent scam. It seems as though someone's claiming to be the grandson of this particular person that they call, his grandparent. He's in jail, needs money to get out. It ain't true. Well, do they? the story doesn't say whether they're giving their name, but apparently so, to indicate that the grandparents need to help them, please, and this particular family, and there maybe have been other reports of this sort of thing happening, called the grandson to say, make sure it was okay, he was all right. He said, I'm fine. So heads up, if you get a call from grandson, it may not be legitimate, it may be a rip, and that's the way that goes. Channel 42 reporting a story from Coleman. They're claiming first, Coleman's First United Methodist Church is giving away all kinds of medical equipment to people in need. Wheelchairs, hospital beds, walkers, free of charge. They've been able to get those donations. So Cummins uh, First United Methodist Church is trying to help those people. One motorized wheelchair they've got donated to them worth $18,000. And boy, those little motorized chairs. Isn't it amazing how easy it is to get those? <laughs> if you watch afternoon television, you know, what do they call it, roustabout, scooter booter, or whatever the term is, I don't know. But uh, it, it would appear as though that the government's going to pay for it for free. Right. Letter to the editor, Decatur Daily, this morning. Local person, Renee Hilburn, talking about what Co Morgan County does that Coleman County does not do. And what is that? She's lauding the law enforcement people in Morgan County for doing funeral escorts. Now, this has been brought up before. Talked with former Sheriff Tyler Roden about this. They say it's impractical to escort every funeral, you know, every hearse that goes to a cemetery or wherever. But this lady says, boy, we live in Coleman. On our way back home, traveling on Highway 31, we saw several police cars with lights flashing, escorting these people. So everyone pulled over and were very courteous, as though we don't do that in Coleman. Maybe we don't. I don't know. But I know that I've been told in years past that it's not economical to provide a funeral escort it's a very emotional thing, especially for the older folks who remember what it was like or what it used to be like. But then there was less traffic. One way or the other, it ain't being done. Don't know that it ever will be. How things have changed. How things have changed. If you're a Baptist, you know what I'm talking about. You weren't necessarily around back as I wasn't in 1845. But back in those days when there was slavery in the South and some parts of the North, there was a split in the Baptist church over the issue of slavery. That's how we got to be known as Southern Baptists. But how things have changed, because now Southern Baptists have a new president who is black from New Orleans. How about them apples, huh? Fred Luter talking, explaining his experiences as being in talking to different uh, uh, daily shows. Today, CNN, Fox, and those people telling them what it's like. He references a recent call from Barack Obama, and he tells Luter, our president does, what's it like to be the best-liked president in America? Hmm. Kind of telling. Hey, the county commissioners in Lawrence County are having to tell their department heads, don't be prepared for any big hike changes. Everyone's asking for a budget increase. And that's an issue you never see in Coleman County. You never see the hearings. 
You never hear see the budget he- hearings in Coleman County going on in that courthouse. You never do. There are a lot of issues that are not covered. I know, been there, done that. In fact, whenever we had our annual audit in 1997, I attempted to have the Coleman Times attend during the briefing after the results were in to find out what we did, how we did, good, bad, or indifferent in the county. Auditors complained, said, we're not going to give it. If you bring those reporters in, we're not going to tell the people. We're not going to give you a briefing, and we'll charge you for it. We'll have to come back. I said, you've got to be kidding me. This is the people's government. Why aren't you reporting this? Why won't you tell the people? The government's accountable to the people. Sure enough, Coleman Times reporter sitting there. Auditors come in, see it, say, well, we'll be back later when you don't have a reporter present. Did the Times report it? No. So, in Huntsville, State Senator Paul Sanford says he's got a way to pay back this amount of money, what, $437 million, this transfer from the gas trust fund. He says he has a plan. Let's hope that they can find a way. Last Friday on That's Politics, we talked with our two representatives, uh, yeah, two representatives, uh, uh, Mac Buttram as well as Ed Henry. And Ed Henry told us basically that they haven't paid back what they took out of it years ago. So why put it on future generations to pay back? That's why it was not addressed in the original referendum. Payback, that is. So something's going to have to be done, you know. I mean, they're going to have to face that bullet in two or three years down the road. What are they going to do between, you know, at that point? Birmingham becoming a center of interest for producers of movies and such. Grace Unplugged. This was a movie and filmed uh, most recently in Birmingham. How about October Baby, just coming out on DVD? I want to see that, see what that's like. Kind of interesting. Sometimes these smaller budget movies aren't that good, but some of them have a moral message. There's one right now. Let's see. What's the name of this thing that's coming out that's on, in theaters now? It's really got a lot of... It talks about traditional values, things that we in the South believe in, right? Pardon? Yeah, I can't think of the name of it, but it's at theaters, and it's very popular. People really like those kind of things. Why? Because it emphasizes values that we have in the South. They may not have them elsewhere because of various sundry reasons, but we have them in the South, mostly. Deaths from suicide of 15%. $56 million suicide program prevention plan coming out to many government agencies and why and I saw results of this when I was waiting in line at the pharmacy at Fox Army Hospital's pharmacy okay the pharmacy Redstone Arsenal waiting in line looking up they've got a TV going at the bottom of the scroll don't forget Thursday so and so all troops will be off for mandatory suicide prevention training we didn't used to do that in the military I'm, undoubtedly there were suicides. I knew a couple of people who did so, but not at the extent that it is now. And why do we have these values in the South? Because we teach our young. We teach our children the value of life. We teach our children the value of faith and things like that. So they have something to cling to whenever they have bad experiences like military service and places where they try to kill you. In Wisconsin, Athletes up there and teachers, students upset at Michelle Obama's new menu for schools. <laughs> yeah, and the United States Department of Agriculture's, their plans and their implementation of this new policy. They don't like all these vegetables. Kids don't. Raising cane, all right? Meanwhile, <laughs> in Massachusetts, the coming school of veterinary medicine, teaching people how to keep your dog from getting fat. Say what? Korean scientists have found a new surefire way for men to live longer. They're looking at old records of the dynasties hundreds of years before. And they found, researchers in Korea have found that eunuchs, that's castrated men living centuries ago, outlived other men by a significant margin. They say their findings suggest that male sex hormones are responsible for shortening the lives of men. That and husbands, of course, I'm sure. Thank you. That's when you say thank you, but no thanks. Okay. A new a Pennsylvania high school marching band 
is raising eyebrows this week. They have got a halftime performance that commemorates the Russian Revolution. You say, what? <laughs> the new Oxford High School marching band marching out with a hammer and sickle. What? Yeah. That's when, again, someone who's young enough not to have understood the fight we had with the communists and with, with other nations don't appreciate the fact that our government and our form of democracy is the only way, you know. It's, it's, it's in our best interest to keep this protected. But when we start recognizing other forms of government like communism, I think we've gone a little too far over the line. Sort of like whenever you name a leader of some particular agency in government in Washington, a czar, for example. Or when you want to have socialized medicine, for example. Do we need to go on? I don't know. All right. That's all I've got. Back with more after this. There's something about the moment when you first walk into that new home. It took a lot to get there, but Eva Bank made it easy to get the loan you needed. Eva Bank, as a part of the community, makes lending decisions right here where you live. Our lenders make the process quick and easy with rates you'll love. Visit your neighbors at Eva Bank today and let them help you with your new home loan. Manufactured home, refinance, or remodel. Eva Bank, part of the community we call home. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Voting has gone through a lot of changes in America since the days of the early West. Because they were short of pencils and paper at that time, they used various things as ballots. Feathers, beans. In one section of Arizona, they used bullets. If it was loaded, it was a vote for one candidate. And if it was empty, it was a vote for another. If the fellow wasn't careful, his whole campaign could blow up right in his face. Dick Powell. Welcome back to Today on Two. We have a guest with us has never been on our show before. Brian Pearson is our guest today, and he's going to talk about an uh, event that takes place at Steel Orchard, the return of the Boogeyman Barn. <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> I want to know who came up with that title. <laughs> Actually, I did. Uh, I we, we started this. <laughs> yeah, it was different, you know. Uh, yeah. We started this three years ago, or this will be our third season, actually, and first year we didn't have a name. We were just playing around with it, and... We decided last year we needed to create a name for it, and it was humorous and, and fun and uh, kind of fit the season. So uh, yeah. we're, we went with it, so we're going with it now. But, uh, yeah, this year, um, it'll be our third year running, and um, last year we introduced it as um, uh, the spinning vortex tunnel you may see here. It's it's a uh, it's been the one for it. It's a tunnel. It's, um, uh, it's a 10-foot tall tunnel. You walk through it as you go through in the dark lights. It spins around you. gives you the effect that you're falling down. Oh. Uh, if you've ever been to a Sloss Furnace or been to a Ripley's, yeah. believe it or not, they've had one there, too. The only difference okay. is ours is about twice as long. Oh. So we kind of stepped it up a little bit beyond what they did. Yeah. So uh, this now, year... Do you, people ha you have people falling and breaking legs? No, no, like no, no. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually... Uh, the bridge is actually 26 foot long. It goes through it. The, uh, there's guardrails all through it because you will... I think it's about two steps. Once you make two steps, you'll start leaning. So we have guardrails for them to hang on to. Yeah. And um, the trick is, if you get too dizzy, close your eyes and you'll walk straight through it, no problem. Uh, yeah. So it's just an illusion in your mind, is all yeah. it is. But yeah. uh, it is a lot of fun. And uh, that leads into our maze. Uh, our haunted house is built inside a maze. 
Uh, so not only are you trying to find your way through it, you've also um, got scares and different things from different points as you, as you travel through it. Um, this year we're adding a few more things. We're making it larger every year. We have a walk-through cemetery this year, which gives you the illusion that you're in a real cemetery at night time. Uh, we use a lot of animatronics and things that we're building this year to kind of step it up uh, a little yeah. bit. And we also have what's called a boogie mask closet this year. Uh, I'm not going to explain what that is, but it's a 18 by 10 foot room. Uh, it's completely dark when you go in with sections of black light. So uh, you just have to, have to see it. It's pretty exciting, I think. So. What is it about people that they like to be scared like this? They love to go to horror <laughs> movies and they love to go through these types of things. I, I wish I knew, but I'm glad that some people yeah, do know. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of those too. Even though I've built this and I've created this, uh -huh. I sometimes get scared of going on myself because I don't uh -huh. know what's there. Right. But uh, it's just kind of a, a fun feeling to get and mm -hmm. I enjoy it. So yeah. a lot of people do. People deal with fear in different ways. Some people cry, some people yell, some people laugh. I had a lot of people that were scared they laughed the whole time. Right, right. You know, I thought maybe they wouldn't enjoy themselves, but they were. So oh, yeah. we've, we've, uh, we've enjoyed it. And, Brian, I think it's fair to say this is not gory, bloody, yeah, scary, yes. Very scary, but, but, but no, 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 we did not do that at so all. It's, it's suitable um, for families or it church is. groups. Mm -hmm. uh, do not bring young children yeah. because of the loud noise, the darkness. We use no white lights at all. It's either okay. black lights and strobe lights. There's a lot of strobe lights. Okay. And it is some tight spots from time to time, but uh, there's no goriness at all in it. Mm -hmm. But um, Sounds like a teenager's heaven. It you is. Know? It but is. teenagers I, probably love yeah, this. I had some, some adults last year that went about part of the way through and as far as they wanted to go, and we coached them on through anyhow, and they were thankful <laughs> when it was done and over with, but several of them started backing out. And, uh, Miss Steele, she actually coached them through to, to go on through, and they were mm -hmm. glad they finally came out. So right, right. They didn't get just part of the way in, and they kind of thought that was all they wanted. So. Yeah, but you got to do the whole experience. You do, because it's, it's throughout. So we have a lot of different things. We run off photo wise that sets things off, along with we have um, a lot of people working for us, you know, in the mask, and they mm -hmm. surprise you in the dark. So right. uh, it's uh, <laughs> So this sounds like a major production, like you have invested some good time and money into this, I have, all, all this equipment. Yes, we, we have done that, or I've done that, I should mm -hmm. say, and uh, I usually start on it in July, and I'm not done yet, and I've got uh -oh. a couple of weeks <laughs> left. And, you know, it's usually I get off work, and I work till about 10 o'clock at night every night, mm -hmm. and then in, in the thing, which is kind of eerie, you know, mm -hmm. but um, you have to get it done, so it's, it's a lot of it comes off YouTube, mm -hmm. I'll take, and I'm a YouTube fanatic, so I'll get ideas off there. Mm -hmm and uh, put them together in my own way I like to do it right. and put it in there and see how it works out. Now this is at Steel Orchard. It's at Steel Orchard, right. yes, in West Point. So. Okay, where are you located? How do you get there? Well, I wish you hadn't asked me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know how you, to get there. How'd you get here? <laughs> yeah, well, just reverse it. Yeah, exactly, but um, I don't actually have the physical address, but mm -hmm. you can go, we have a Facebook page. She has a Facebook page as well. Okay. You can th go in and put uh, Boogie's Man Barn in for Facebook, and you can get all the information there along with the address and telephone number. Okay. Uh, Still Orchard has her website. You can get mm -hmm. that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting ready to put our signs out throughout the town and in the convenience stores and different things. So plenty of information out there. You can also go to YouTube and see some videos from last year on there, okay. which I type into the Steel Orchard or the Boogie Man's Barn, mm -hmm. and you'll find a couple of video clips kind of give you an idea of what happened last year and a little bit about the tunnel. So right, uh, there's right. lots of information out there will be available for it. But she's on Highway 157, right? She's off of 157, the, actually. Uh, I think they'll call that um, Missionary Grove Road, I believe. I think is that, yeah, that the area? Yeah, I was going to say, you can go out either 278 and there will be signs or you can go out 157. Yes, both signs. directions. But yeah. it's headed west, of course. Yeah, go yeah. west on either one of the highways and so they'll get there. Correct. And we'll we're going to put some the rather large signs out. They'll right. be bright orange. Okay. Um, well, again, we've got several that will be in this week we've ordered. Uh, mm -hmm. A little more professional looking signs and uh, will be delivered uh, this week. So. And what are the dates? When is this going to start? It's going to start the 12th. It'll be the second weekend in October. Okay. Uh, on a Friday night. We're only doing Friday and Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. And it'll be every Friday and Saturday night from the 12th onward. And also Halloween night. I think falls on Wednesday this year. It does. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah. those nights will be open. Okay. So this is for anybody that uh, is not faint of heart, right? Right, exactly. doesn't have a heart condition. <laughs> you don't want anybody with heart condition. Yeah, because there are also surprises. equilibrium problems because that just makes it worse. <laughs> right. And if you've got a problem with strobe lights, don't, don't bother either. Uh -huh. So that's, yeah. that's, there's a lot of those. Yeah. And I mean, a lot. There's probably 30 of them. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of strobe lights. What a great What's date the cost night? of admission? $10 for the admission this year. And okay. the price is across the board for everyone. Uh, we will offer uh, some group discounts. You know, can call Miss Linda up mm -hmm. and uh, talk with her. Some group discount prices, or some of that. Do a fundraiser. 
if they'd like to contact us there, maybe okay. do a fundraiser through uh, the organization mm -hmm. uh, to make a little money for themselves as well, that would be uh, right. certainly negotiable with them. So. Yeah. Now, have you always been kind of into the this kind no, of thing? No, I have thing? not. No. Actually, she had this maze uh, built out, out back, and that was for the younger kids during the daytime on their tours mm -hmm. uh, for her apples. And um, she asked me one year if I could, uh, my wife works out there, if um, I could help her do something with it. So we just two weeks time period we threw something together and had fun mm -hmm. so then we just started yeah. you know carrying on and on with it so uh, no I have not okay. <laughs> all of a sudden I did so okay yeah. uh, but uh, but you do now I do now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a lot of fun I enjoy it I wouldn't be doing it so mm -hmm. I can imagine like I said earlier it's a good date night for some kids or a group of teenagers to go out and not just teenagers uh, adults like that kind of stuff too I say we had many adults last yeah. year we did teenagers yeah. uh, and then the Saturday before Halloween last year we were just slam packed. I was mm -hmm. glad to see it and I looked out and mm -hmm. I seen people as far as I could see outside of it. So it <laughs> right. was it was good. You right. know, so. And it's not as far to go as go to just Lost Furnace. It's probably not as crowded, so it's easier. And I think you'll find it a little okay. more interesting than you would those. Mm -hmm. I've had people comment and I could mm -hmm. now hear comments while I'm right. in there from different people that they right. how much they enjoyed it and how they've never seen anything like this before. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that including going all the way into Birmingham and paying twenty twenty five bucks for right. a ticket that goes for this Lost Furnace. So Right, right. Plus you have to factor and in the, the gas. <laughs> yes, and there and back. So really, this is much closer, and it's cheaper, and it's actually more fun. And right here in your home like. county, so <laughs> yeah. So need to support local people and everything. Yes. And Steel Orchards, of course, has all the apples. I know. Yeah, she has her biggest ever mm -hmm. right now. I think uh, mm -hmm. she's actually brought in a second truck to store apples in this time. She got her biggest crop ever of apples this year. So okay. she is swamped with them. Got a so. variety of them. She and I has. Dennis likes to go up there. Yeah, I sure what, do. What's your favorite apple? Oh, I've got about a half a dozen oh, okay. day, you know, depending on what the current crop is. Uh -huh. okay. They start picking in July and will go through September. So okay. right. you get different yeah. varieties, different time of year. Yeah. I'm actually still picking. They're picking a little bit now. So they've got two trucks in the cooler plus what's in the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cooler as well, just plum mm -hmm. full. So that's a... She's, I think she's making cider here for a long time. A lot of people are always looking for their apple right. cider. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think they're getting ready to start that as well. And mm -hmm. fried pies, is she doing always. that as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. So there's just a variety of things uh -oh. out there, and I know she's yeah. grown over the years. I don't go like you go. I know every year that's that's his thing. He's got to yeah. go out there. Right. So. You can find our, our pies, too, if you don't get out there in a lot of the local stores. Okay. A lot of the Exxon, the Sheraton, different mm -hmm. places are also now carrying our pies. Okay. Sweet potatoes and apple, and uh, my favorite is chocolate. But I okay. have the chocolate pies as well. So. Okay. All right, so tell us dates one more time. It'll be the 12th, starting the 12th of October on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. And then every weekend, all Friday the way through and Halloween, and then Halloween night, which is on Wednesday. Yeah. All right, good deal. All Thank right. you, Brian, for Thank being you. here. I, that sounds exciting. We'll have more today on two right after this. Fire, accident, storm. They all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with auto owners. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Karen. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Hi, I'm Tammy Brown. Whether it's your dad, mother, brother, sister, or child, I'll be there for you, providing impartial and timely resolutions of probate court proceedings. I will stand to protect individuals' rights. I will provide capable leadership and confidence in the probate judge's office. I am ready to put my 22 years' experience to work for you as your probate judge. On November 6th, elect Tammy Brown, probate judge of Coleman County. ride of your life, you'll find it at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales in Coleman. I'm talking about sharp cars and trucks that'll get you noticed and deals to low to believe. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it and find it for less at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales. Come on, North Alabama, it's time you had a sharp set of wheels and a really good deal. Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales, turning you from two big lots, Highway 31 North and 31 South in Coleman, Alabama. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go. Nationwide is on your side.
Welcome back to Today on Two. It's time to give away our prizes for today. Let's see what the Tuesday prizes are. We have lunch for two at Chick-fil-A on Cherokee Avenue. We have two cupcakes from Frosting's Bakery. And we still have the, yes, we still have two tickets to the bridal show with this ring bridal show. This is uh, sponsored by Wallace State College with the proceeds going to scholarships. And that's coming up September 30th, next Sunday. Yes, uh-huh. Those are the prizes we have for today. Let's look at our merchant ads. We'll ask a question, of course, about one of these ads. Starting with Cosmic Sound, a new advertiser with us with over 26 years of experience in the DJ entertainment business. They are your wedding DJ specialist. And it's my party where you can kick off the fall season with some great tailgating items. And if you're having a party or just having some friends over at your house, you want some napkins or anything like that, they have it. You're in good hands with Sorelli at Doug Dogga Jewelers. Sorelli is the antique-inspired heirloom jewelry. Doug Dogga Jewelers on Compass Way, Southwest in Colton. And Baldwin Counseling Center. If you're having problems, you need to talk, you want some privacy, just give Howard Rogers a call. He's just a phone call away. He can also help with individual and family counseling, lifestyle coach, and weight loss. Baldwin Counseling Center. Fitness opportunities available at the Wellness and Aquatic Center. They have the full fitness center complete with weights, cardio, and professional training. You save money if you buy a membership, but day passes are available. Follow and Spotty Shop on Highway 31 South and Phelan. You've counted on them for over 52 years now for auto body repair and for towing, and you can count on them today. That's Mullins Body Shop. Sweet deals always available at Dairy Queen. Pick any two items, pay just $3.33. The blizzard of the month for September is Oreo. High Tide Sports Grill right there on Highway 31 next to Burgess Body Shop. And they are open, of course, Monday through Saturday. Check out those hours. And on Thursday, it's bike night, Friday, shrimp night, Saturday, barbecue, baby back ribs special. Shimmer and Glow Tanning Boutique. Amanda and Jessica are the owners. They have tanning beds. They have stand-up tanning. They have spray tanning. Child care is provided also. Shimmer and Glow Tanning Boutique on 2nd Avenue Southeast. Oh, okay, you can open the door to history and fine prints, and this is at Renard's Gallery and Gifts. They have a great selection of gifts and jewelry, and of course they do a great job of framing. So if you have a print that needs to be framed, take it to Renard's Gallery and Gifts. And there we go with some of our merchant ads. Our phone number, 256-734-7399. Tell us which night is Shrimp Night at High Tide Sports Grill. They have one night special, and they have shrimp. Which night is it? Yep. You could probably narrow it down to one of seven. (laughs) Trying to help you there. Right. Which night is shrimp night at High Tide Sports Grill? And the winner uh, gets, uh, let's see, lunch for two at Chick-fil-A. We have two cupcakes from Frostings and two tickets to the bridal show coming up. We have a caller on line something. They say, hello, who's calling? Just doing. For, uh, okay, you're from Coleman. Uh, which night is shrimp night at High Tide Sports Grill? 79. Pardon me? 79. Not, you, Saturday, no, it's not Saturday night. Think about it, call us back. Different night of the week. Take another guess. Yeah, now we've got to narrow it down to six. <laughs> That's right. Line and they're two. closed on Sunday, so it uh, narrowed it down to five. Okay, we have two, uh, line two. Go ahead, Jack. Good morning, caller. Hello? Did you punch this? Hello? Hello, try okay. it again. Hey, are hey, you there? Dennis. Hey, Jack, I'm War Eagle. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Hi, Kenneth. How you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? All right. Good. What's the answer for us today? Friday night. Friday night's the right answer. Yes, Friday night, shrimp night at high tide. Kenneth, okay. stay on the line, please. Thanks for calling in. Yep. Every Friday night, and they're busy too. Right. A lot of people show up for that. And we need to point out that they are open now on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. So if you want to go watch your favorite football game, I'm sure you can go there and have a good meal and just enjoy it and be around some other people. We so. were at a uh, sports bar and grill Saturday when the Iowa Hawkeyes were playing at 11 o'clock, mm-hmm. and it got noisy. So I told Kim we need to go to High Tide when Alabama plays at 11 o'clock <laughs> and see if it's noisier. <laughs> That's because right. Because Iowa's got a lousy team, and they still get excited about it. So. <laughs> right. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that place probably really rocks. <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's look at the rest of our ads right now. 
Tudor Doctor, make this the best school year ever. Tudor Doctor is personalized, one-on-one -on -one tutoring in your home at your convenience, flexible hours. Call them for a free consultation. And of course, People Stars is featuring the Hydro Master Tire. You're going to save 50% on this tire. It looks like new, wears like new. It has a European style tread. Festal Market Plots open Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That means they're open today from 8 until 3. They have a variety of fresh vegetables. Festal Market Plots on Arnold Street and First Avenue. Deb's Bookstore, it's your hometown bookstore just down the road. Used books are half price off every day. New books are 20% off every day. And of course, she does have gift certificates available at Deb's Bookstore. Mr. Plumber, Coleman's only professional full service plumbing sewer and drain company, locally owned and operated. Free estimates on new construction. Call Adam Burgess, he's the owner of Mr. Plumber. Mr. Hicks menswear, he has regular sizes, but he also has those hard to fit guys, big and tall sizes. And he is the Reader's Choice Award winner for men's clothing, located right there at 217 Compass Way Southwest. It's a fabulous fall. The new styles and looks for fall are available at Uniform Place, inspired new looks for style at work. Uniform Place on 2nd Avenue Southeast. And Tires for Less is more than just tires. They can check that air conditioning, do oil changes, minor engine repairs, check shocks and brakes. And of course, if you mention this ad that you saw it on Channel 2, then you're going to receive $5 off your next oil change at Tires for Less. The crew at Earl's Body Shop reminds you, move over for emergency vehicles. Earl's Body Shop, of course, offers 24-hour wrecker service. They do towing, local, and long distance. Earl's Body Shop. Those are the merchant ads we have. Now let's check our birthdays for the 25th of September. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> Dorothy Wallace is going to have a birthday along with Margaret Williams, and we do need to mention that today is Dennis's birthday as well. How about that? We didn't need to mention it. Yes, we did. Happy birthday, is. Dennis. <laughs> And, of course, these people's names, excluding Dennis, will be put into the uh, drawing on Friday where they have the 8x10 possibility of winning an 8x10 portrait from Baker Photography and an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And the weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Make the switch to Mitch. It should be a beautiful day today. Sunny with a high near 80. Clear tonight, low of 60. Mostly sunny again tomorrow with a high of 83. All right, now, Mr. Okay, Stone. Okay, Ron, come on down. Hi, I'm Tammy Brown. Whether it's your dad, mother, brother, sister, or child, I'll be there for you, providing impartial and timely resolutions of probate court proceedings. I will stand to protect individuals' rights. I will provide capable leadership and confidence in the probate judge's office. I am ready to put my 22 years' experience to work for you as your probate judge. On November 6th, elect Tammy Brown, probate judge of Coleman County. of your life, you'll find it at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales in Coleman. I'm talking about sharp cars and trucks that'll get you noticed and deals too low to believe. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it and find it for less at Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales. Come on, North Alabama. It's time you had a sharp set of wheels and a really good deal. Billy Ray Taylor Auto Sales, serving you from two big lots, Highway 31 North and 31 South in Coleman, Alabama. Welcome back to Today on Two. Ron Stone is our guest today, Mr. Holly Pond Football. This is the 50th year of football at Holly Pond. It is, Dennis, and we're have, we've had a ball all 50 years. <laughs> uh, I, I'm glad to be here today. We, uh, we're celebrating our 50th year. 50 mm -hmm. years ago, the uh, 
kids quit getting out for cotton picking. Uh, George will remember this. And, <laughs> and uh, they needed to do something on Friday night to uh, stay out of trouble. So they started them a football team. You know. Let me ask you this, Ron. Prior to that, for the kids who wanted to play football, where did they go? Did they uh, play Coleman in, in Coleman? Coleman or Hansville. That, that was the only okay. two teams here. Now, they had a, the eight-man football team back in the 30s, and it got cut out when the uh, boy got his neck broke down at Hansville and later died. Okay. And uh, a lot of them cut it out. But <clears throat> back then, Dennis, it was hard to get them kids during, during cotton picking, and that's when mm -hmm. October and November is, to uh, do anything. Okay. So, uh, but in 61 or 60, 61, they cut out cotton picking, and <clears throat> all of a sudden I got a cough in there. But uh, they uh, got together, the community did, and uh, the school said, okay, it'll cost $25 to field a football team. And uh, the school system said, we'll put up 10 if you'll get uh, $10,000 in local contributors. So uh, they set out to do that, and uh, Dennis, we got... 53 contributors. We've got 13 of them still living. And uh, what we're going to do Friday uh, afternoon at 4.30 in the afternoon, prior to the Fairview game, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to give these contributors and some other uh, people that's been instrumental in our football program through the 50 years, we're going to give them a plaque on award. That's wonderful. We've, we've got two that's not going to be able to attend. Uh, I've already given one of them his plaque, and the other one, his daughter, is going to pick it up for him Friday. But they're still living the 13th. And uh, we added Bill Shelton on this as publicity because Bill Shelton, many of us knew him as a sports writer here for many years. And uh, he done a lot of publicity for us. But other, Ron, why don't you read the names of the uh, living Okay. Don't <coughs> because a lot of people are going to know these people. Okay. Sam Calvert. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the insurance agent. Right. Here. Uh, Charlie Benefield. Tom Drake. Mm -hmm. Tom Drake come out and helped coach the first year when they started. Okay. Uh, Curly Duke. E.H. Duke. <coughs> Tommy Duval. Felton Easterwood had been assistant principal when it started, and he was really instrumental in getting a lot of the donators to come through. Pat Ellert, who was a teacher at Holly Pond. Ernestine Gable. Sam Hawkins was a teacher at Holly Pond for years. Roy Henderson, who has a store down at Welty. Paul Shoemaker. Aubrey White. Emmett Wise, who has a trucking company. Gail Woods, who has a secretary out there, and her husband, Roy. That's the 13 that's still living, but you would recognize many of the yes, ones we do. that's deceased. And what we've done this year, we're going to uh, give a lot of them an award. This is one to Horace Robertson for their financial contributions through the mm -hmm. year. We're also going to go in to give away awards to... <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, now, the financial contribution plaque will be like this. on just have different wording on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to also... Uh, the, we got 400 pictures of the cheerleaders celebrating our 50 years, you know. On our website, the cheerleader seems to get the most hits for people to look at. I so wonder why. We, yeah, we just, uh, them and the volleyball team always get it. So we've got uh, 400 pictures to give away uh, at our uh, awards event. Friday. You don't have a picture of the cheerleaders from 50 years ago. Well, we do on a DVD. Really? We're, that we're, would be we're, uh, we're making a 50-year DVD starting in 63. We'll have ever a uh, group of cheerleaders, the uh, football team, and the band members after about 69. Uh, we will have them on all the way through 2012. You can buy the CD. It's going to be $25. It's going to be highlighted, and, and we're going to have this awards banquet mm -hmm. on that CD there. We got bumper stickers for the people to come out. To, we got plenty of them to go around. And this year, during the school year, uh, we had four uh, business to screen up shirts. Now this one's Talisa Shackles, an alpha agent uh -huh. in Holly Pond, and I always wore that, wear that alpha attire. And then uh, <laughs> I wonder why. There you go. <laughs> and then <laughs> Traditions Bank, they're congratulating us for 50 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, S and S Foods, they're one okay. of the. Uh, they, what we what we did, we screened up a hundred shirts and uh, give each class, there's 80-something students in each class, plus the teachers a shirt to wear, 
and they weren't different. And then Premier Bank. Premier Bank. Me and you are familiar with Premier Bank. You know what that says there? You know what that advertising means there, Dennis? That means Premier Bank wants you to call them. They put their <laughs> phone number there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, call and open it. Yeah, yeah. That's all I, I, I asked Jay Murray. That's all I want. I want call number. Hey, call me. I'll tell them the rest. Uh, but we're going to have a good time. It's going to be at 4.30 in the afternoon, Dennis. Mm -hmm. And people say, why have it then when people are working and all? Uh, it's too honor these mainly these right. 13 contributors right. here but uh, we've got Ted your cameraman is going to be getting an award uh, 10 years ago we filmed them and played them mm -hmm. back on channel 2 and, and Ted was our cameraman part time DJ and uh, he said uh, you know he, he done a good job uh, if we could afford him we'd have kept him <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, now did you play it Yes, I on played the original team. No, I played the second year. I second moved up year. from Tarrant okay. City. Uh, the first year they played Coleman's B team, Arab's B team, and Hansville's B team, uh -huh. and they had a two and seven record. And then uh, the second year we had uh, we played Fairview twice, and West Point started their team uh, the next year. Now Fairview started the same year we did. Uh, we played each one of them twice, but it was all varsity teams, and we had a three five and two record. And then the next year we had our first winning season, which uh, really come in there. Uh, you know, Dennis, uh, money matters. And Holly Pond was able to get the money and started in three years. They were a football team to be reckoned with. What and, has been the best year for Holly Pond football? Uh, 1982 was 9-1. Uh, and one. Okay. And now... Uh, Tell them about making 90 yards one night. Uh, making 90. Oh, uh, my, my penalties. <laughs> yeah, for the other team, it was 85. <laughs> uh, I uh, went to school with, at Baileyton before I moved to Tarrant City to move back to Holly Pond. And uh, some of the my classmates is on the other team, and I got a little rowdy that night. We <laughs> went in halftime 19 to 6 and wound up 26 26 tie. And uh, the coach, you know, they cut out all them coaches' whispering boxes. And I think <laughs> they could hear him on the football field when we got in the dressing room chewing me out. But uh, he will be there. Now, uh, you have broadcast. You? Holly Pond football games for a number of years. This is my 25th year. I uh, went 23 years on the uh, uh, radio for K92, which mm -hmm. we given uh, Ron Mosley a plaque for broadcasting. And uh, then we had, uh, last year we started our website. Okay. Uh, you know, Dennis, it's getting so expensive to advertise for a high school program yeah. because mm -hmm. uh, it's well, it just cost us money to run yeah. a TV station or a radio yeah. station. And, uh, but the website was a lot cheaper and we've done well with it. We've had 160 something thousand hits in mm -hmm. one year. Uh, mainly because they get in there and look at all the pictures we got. But, uh, <laughs> they listen to the game. It's, uh, uh, on the, uh, So the podcast is, uh, is broadcast live every Friday night then? Uh, it, it is. Now we screen it, uh, on the home games, mm -hmm. okay. But uh, we're just uh, we're doing great with the um, internet, and uh, the fans are liking it. The players are liking it. They can go back. It stays up for one year, mm -hmm. and uh, okay. And uh, we're wanting to Friday. We want all the fans, former football players, band members, cheerleaders. Uh, we're going to give Miss Polly Easterwood. She never was a band director, but. Uh, after a couple of years of football, she said, this team needs a band. So it took her a couple of years to get us one, but we're going to give Miss Polly Eastwood the respect she deserves. And This will be you know, uh, Friday afternoon where? Uh, at, at Holly Pond, at, at, at the high school, 4.30 in the afternoon. And if you've ever tried to line up anything during football season, there is no good time. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's okay. Everybody will be there. Just come out and see us. All right. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. We'll have more of today on two right after this. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. 
overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. I'm Ringo. What can I do for you? Well, my name's Merlin, Pat Merlin. This is my son, Hank. We come a long way, Mr. Ringo. The boy here's gonna kill you. for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Get ready for Oktoberfest. You can learn how to ballroom dance with Gene and Dodd Holt. That's going to be on Thursday, September the 27th at the Donald E. Green Building at 6 p.m. And of course, United Way is presenting their girlfriend gala. And if you would like to come just preview, you can do that this Thursday from 11 to 1. You can buy a $10 ticket at the door that's located at Stonebridge Farms. And tickets are also available at United Way office. Bethsaida Baptist Church is celebrating 125 years of service, worship, fellowship, and food. This will be at the Bethsaida Baptist Church on September the 29th at 10.30 in the morning. And with this ring, bridal show will be taking place on Sunday, September the 30th from 1 until 5 at Stonebridge Farms. And they have over 30 vendors. T limited tickets are available, so if you want to get one in advance, they're $10, or you can buy one at the door for $15. St. John's Church is doing their Oktoberfest. That's going to be on Monday, October the 8th from 5 until 7 p.m. The cost is $10. The music is by Revelations. And the First Baptist Church Quartet will also be performing. And it's best to call the church and get your tickets early. Second annual Mission Possible 5K Run will take place on Saturday, October the 13th at 7 a.m. And that's Coleman Sportsman's Lake. And the cost is just $20. Registration, registration begins at 6, from 6 to 6.45 a.m. Prizes awarded in each division. All proceeds go to help support Haiti's Eaton. Second annual Coleman Oktoberfest Barbecue Challenge will take a place on October the 13th. That's from 9 until 5. Children and military get admission free. And, of course, it's uh, going to be held at the Coleman County Fairgrounds. The cost is $5 per person. And barbecue bands, fun, and beverages all available. If you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can send it to channel2coleman.gmail.com, fax us to 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2, spell out the number 2, Coleman. Weather forecast for today, sunny with a high of 80, clear tonight, low of 60, sunny again tomorrow with a high of 83. And coming up tomorrow, who's our guest? Well, we're going to talk about that Mission Possible 5K run with Kim Campbell, and then Howard Rogers is going to be with us tomorrow. That's our program for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Hope you have a great day.